Welcome to Stacker News, issue number nine. Last week, YouTube developer channels were on fire. This is by far the biggest list of videos in one week that I've had. This week, after narrowing them down, there were 42 videos that you need to watch. So what did you miss last week in YouTube web dev? A lot. In this video, I'll highlight my favorite videos from last week to help you decide which to watch and maybe you'll discover some new videos and channels that you didn't know about. Be sure to watch to the end to check out the underrated video of the week that you need to watch. If this video helps you out, help me out by liking and subscribing. All of the links to the videos mentioned will be in the description below. This is Stacker News. For those who don't know, March is Women's History Month. So I want to give a big thank you to all of the women developers out there. And in this edition of Stacker News, I'm going to highlight all of the women dev tubers that I could find first. And then there'll be some guys at the end. So if I miss anyone, please let me know in the comments below and I'll include them in a future issue. Again, these videos are from last week. These are in no particular order. Let's go. First up, Jessica at Coder Coder builds a custom Google map with a Super Mario theme using the Google Maps JavaScript API. I didn't know how extensive the Google Maps API was and that you could customize the map so much. It's really cool. Next up, Mayoko answers the question, should you negotiate your salary? She has Sarah, who is the lead negotiator at levels.fyi, help her answer this question. Then they talk about negotiating at different parts of your career as an intern, as a new grad, and mid-level. Next, we have two videos from Angie Jones. In this one, she talks about becoming an inventor as a developer. That's something that most of us probably have never thought of. Well, she has 22 patents, so you can definitely trust her advice. In this video, she discusses what makes an idea patentable, techniques for coming up with innovative ideas, and the process for pursuing protection for your ideas via software patents. And then we have another talk here from Angie on the JavaScript conferences by Git Nation channel. In this talk, she educates us on inattentional blindness. You'll learn how visual validation works, see a live integration into an existing test code base, and discuss the pros and cons of using various visual validation techniques. Next up, we have the first career recap from Kapehe on the Better Dev channel. In this one, you'll learn and get inspired from Sierra's developer journey. Next, we have Nicole.Young, who talks about the best coding resources for 2021. She's going to save you a lot of time because she has handpicked her favorite resources and explains why she likes them. Next up, Sydney Buckner shows us how she makes her videos. This is not her typical video, but it's cool to see her process. And in this video, Vicki May sums up the best and hardest parts of her job as a software engineer in this day in the life of video. So if you want to get some insight into what a software engineer does at work, be sure to check out this video. And next we have two videos from Anya Kubo in one week. In this one, she teaches us how to create our first Netlify serverless function. And in this video, she shows us how to create a working contact form in HTML. This contact form will send emails from your website to your inbox. Really cool. Next up, Anastasia Marchenkova talks about applying for a physics PhD graduate school program, including the application process, GPA, how to get research experience when you're still in undergrad, and how to pick what school to attend for your PhD. Side hustles are a great way to diversify your income streams and to develop your skills. Next up, we have two channels that give their viewpoint and advice on side hustles. First up, Tiff and Tech shares some of the best side hustles to earn extra income from home. And Coding Blonde goes over 10 remote side hustle ideas. So be sure to check out both of these videos. Next up, Code Beauty explains three different ways to insert a new node into a linked list in C++. Next, Tech World with Nana released a complete Python course where you'll learn everything you need to get started with Python. This course is five and a half hours. By the end of this course, you'll have a good understanding of the concepts and have hands-on experience with several demo projects that you can follow along with. Next up, Anna McDougall gives us some tips from her first week as a junior software engineer. She talks about preparing for an unfamiliar tech stack, asking questions, being curious, and how to handle imposter syndrome. Really quick, like this video, it helps me out. Next up, Andy Sterkowitz tells us that programming tutorials don't work. Huh, I think I should rethink my career. In this video, he talks about why tutorials don't always work to make you a better developer and how you can use them more effectively. 
If you missed my video from last week, Brackets is dead. If you're currently using Adobe Brackets as your code editor, it's time to switch. On September 1st, 2021, Adobe will end support for Brackets. They've partnered with Microsoft and suggest that you migrate to Visual Studio Code. So let me help you make the migration to VS Code seamless with this video. As a developer, it's important to take care of your mental health. Many developers experience burnout and it can sneak up on you. In this video, Kethmar from Developer Habits talks about zoom out sessions. He takes time to reflect on his goals, habits, and progress with his long-term goals. This helps him to stay focused and avoid burnout. Next, we have another great video from Free Code Camp. This one is a Postman beginners course. This course will introduce you to Postman. You'll learn how to build API requests with Postman, how to inspect responses and create workflows. Next up, James Perkins teaches us how to use WordPress as a headless CMS with Next.js in this amazing crash course. And next, Follow Andrew shows us how to use HTML tables properly with tabular data. Next, Tom Scott explains why progress bars don't move smoothly. I'm sure everyone has seen that progress bar that has only four minutes remaining and then 15 seconds remaining and then five hours remaining. Why can't computers just tell you how long something is going to take? Well, it's actually very complex, so I'll let Tom explain it. Next up, Chris Sev at Better Dev builds a flip clock with Tailwind CSS using CSS Grid. Next, we have a great video from Thomas Wavenfalk. In this video, Thomas uses Fruit to teach the JavaScript array methods for each, map, and reduce. Next up, Brad Traversy talks about five high-level skills and traits that will help you become a more successful programmer. This video is part two of a Next.js crash course from James Q. Quick. In this video, he'll use Auth0 to add authentication, protect routes and pages, add authorization, and more. Next up, Kevin Powell shows us how to simplify and dry up our CSS with is. And last week we learned that Tech Rally got a software developer job at a Fang company. Congratulations. If you want to find out which Fang company, be sure to watch the video. And next we have a video from Steph. He takes a look at what Google is saying about JavaScript in 2021. How popular is JavaScript? And what's trending with JavaScript? Next up, Program with Eric takes a look at Vite 2.0 and shows us how we can speed up our development with it. With the Vite build tool, you can create Vue, React, and Preact builds in minutes. Next, Kenny Gunderman lets us know that programmers are stupid. Uh, but he says that the good ones already know this. In this video, he talks about some challenges developers face. It's a good video. Next up, Tadas Petra gives us a Flutter 2.0 recap in six minutes. Check this one out to see what's new with Flutter 2.0. In this video from Colt Steele, he'll talk about two similar and confusing Git concepts, merging and rebasing. Why do some people use rebase instead of merge? What's the golden rule of rebasing? Why are people scared of rebasing? Colt will explain it all. Did you know that you can listen to Spotify in VS Code? If you wanna play your favorite songs in VS Code, let Adrian Torg show you how. Next, we have an amazing story from Chris Sean. He'll share how he went from earning 30,000 a year to nearly 300,000 a year as a self-taught web developer. That's amazing, Chris, congratulations. In this video from Design Course, Gary and Sid will walk you through the full stack development experience by creating a cryptocurrency app. They use the Mevin stack. Gary will handle all of the front end stuff and Sid will handle the back end and deployment stuff. If you missed Gatsby Conf 2021, let Christian at Bitesized give you a quick recap to see what's new with Gatsby 3.0. Should you become a web developer in 2021? Yes. Check out this video from What's Dev for his six reasons why you should. And we have a similar video from Web Dev Simplified. Can you still get a programming job in 2021? Again, yes. In this video, Kyle talks about why he thinks programming is an amazing career now and why he thinks it will continue to be an amazing career for decades to come. And in another video from Web Dev Simplified, Kyle challenges Adrian Twarg to a CSS battle. Be sure to check it out to see who wins. It's now time for the underrated video of the week. Be sure to check out this free Blazor crash course from Claudio Bernasconi. In this course, you'll build a Blazor WebAssembly application based on .NET 5. You'll go through all of the fundamentals of Blazor so that after this crash course, you can implement a fully functional web app yourself. That's amazing, Claudio. Be sure to go to his channel and subscribe. 
I hope this was helpful. Like this video to help me out and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.